never forget it. As a, as a young girl, I remember the hillsides, you just seeing everything moving. And it's a real sight to see, you know, when you, when you think that the hillsides are alive with caribou. There was a lot to like about this piece. My favorite part was hearing about the personal connections that everybody in this film has with caribou. It's something that goes well beyond just a food source and I really enjoyed learning about their personal stories and the sense of culture and identity that comes with hunting and eating caribou. I also loved how we got so many individual unique stories but they all came together to form this greater narrative. It's such great editing and really, really good storytelling. The title was so clever too, and I love that very strong mic drop kind of ending. Um, this was all very well done. I heard it was a great documentary short. It was about the, uh, the animals, the um, animals that are being endangered in some parts of Canada and other places of the country, and how they were integral to food, and like how food was promulgated around the community that type of food is like a de delicacy in those part in that part of the country, and so the the document short was about you know laws that were enacted to protect these gazelles, these type of creatures from being hunted, and how that affected even though that there was a ban, it affected the culture and how like young kids, young men have a rite of passage by hunting these animals, but because of endangerment, you know laws had been placed to stop them from doing that. And also like there's, there's a double entendre, like herd can also mean herd of the animals, but also hearing what needs to be said. So that's pretty cool. Herd was such a well done piece and I had no idea how important the caribou population was um, to these provinces and the specific area uh, and also how devastating the impact has been um, since the caribou ban. And just the statistics of a 99% decrease in population is like hard to conceptualize. Um, and they did a great job of, at the beginning of the film, showing just how many caribou were there, describing it like an anthill that you just you couldn't, there was no empty space. It was just all caribou and um, they were just in abundance. And then now having to, to learn that there's less than 10,000 um, is just so shocking. Um, and I think the saddest part is the, the cultural impact of that, where, you know, it is a, a stable food source for so many communities and a beloved food source, uh, but also the cultural impact of not being able to go out hunting for them. And um, yeah, I, I visited Newfoundland for the first time uh, a couple of months ago, and I saw that there were a lot of moose and, and people talked a lot about the moose, but I didn't hear anything about caribou. And so I got to learn all of this for the first time watching this film, and I'm really glad that I did. Um, I, I really hope that the ban is successful and the herds are able to repopulate so that um, this really important part of um, these communities' lives can be reestablished. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful that I got to learn about this. Thank you. Really great piece. Wow, this was stunning. I mean, so many dynamic shots in, in a film in such a short period of time. It was just really jaw-droppingly beautiful. And the caribou are incredibly gorgeous. I like how they did this. They, they got their message across really well with a lot of the interviews and really making their point of how important the caribou are to everybody in this region. Um, I think that it's sad that their numbers are dwindling the way that they are, but I really enjoyed the interviews. I really enjoyed the message of this. I thought that they edited it really well. It kept pace and it just really kind of touched your heart of what the struggle was going on with these people and with the caribou as well. 
I really appreciated the perspective that you showed us in this film. I think it was really interesting for uh, the subjects in the film to talk about the caribou not only as a food source, but also um, as a part of their identity, as a part of their culture, and in a really emotional way. And you could tell that by the loss of the caribou in the community that this, this, the these people were sort of reckoning with like, okay, well, what does our history mean now? Like, how do we, is there a way to replace the caribou? And it seems like there's not. And I really felt this hole um, that was not only environmental, but also just really heartfelt. What beautiful cinematography in herd. It really is, along with the fantastic storytelling that should be shared to get the question really answered on how that many caribou just disappeared. This film was very well done talking with the locals and the indigenous people on how important this animal is to their culture. This film was really well done. It's a great job to the filmmakers and the message really needs to get out there far and wide so we can figure out what happened to the caribou and how to preserve what's left of them so that we can continue to conserve, conserve them and bring them back. I really liked herd. I liked that you got this community of people, this heard talking about um, their experience hunting caribou and the cultural significance and, and th this cultural like spiritual significance and um, what it means to this community. Um, I think you do a great job of laying out these personal stories while also um, you know putting in facts as well. That's what a documentary is but um, you you really on top of the facts you really did an emotional pull with this piece which makes it um you know more enjoyable to watch than just getting a fodder of information um but it also it creates like a personal connection with the viewer and the individual on screen so i i really do appreciate that um great story really interesting topic um, and it was incredibly well put together. It was, it was just really, really nice to watch. So very well done.